For the next 12 hours straight, I am going to do DoorDash deliveries on my bike. Now I know that sounds crazy, but I'm so sick and tired of people commenting saying they can't do DoorDash because they don't have a car. Those are excuses right there because there's a spot outside my apartment where you can rent bikes and anyone above the age of like seven can ride those. I thought that transition would be cool, but it definitely wasn't. Lastly, for all of you guys who are gonna say that you can't do DoorDash under 18, you can do a lot of things under 18 if you steal your parents' identity. Identity theft is not a joke, Jim. Not suggesting it, I'm just saying it's an option. Now that you've got your bike for DoorDash, try to get to a bigger city. It doesn't need to be a huge area. In my case, like 250,000 people live around me, so that should do just fine for getting orders. As you guys can see, I just opened the DoorDash app on my phone, and the only button coming up up is the schedule button which means that there's not enough demand for people doing DoorDash on a bike so what I'm gonna do is change my dash type to car even though I'm gonna stay on a bike and we're only going to accept orders that are less than five miles of driving oh, this new crazy mother Hi, I have a DoorDash pickup for Leah B. As you guys can see, I just picked up our first DoorDash order of the day. Now I've got to take it to the customer's house. I've got a 1.6 mile drive. The last few rules for this challenge are no taking breaks longer than 30 minutes and spend as little as possible. Whatever I spend money on for food, water, or survival necessities gets taken out of the budget for this challenge. Failing to take breaks less than 30 minutes will result in me giving all of my earnings for this challenge away to a random delivery driver. I just successfully completed the first DoorDash delivery completely on my bike. As you guys can see, I just pulled up to McDonald's for the second DoorDash order. You already know, parked my bike in its own spot. Now let's head inside because I'm probably running late. Running late quickly became a common theme in this challenge since I told DoorDash I was doing deliveries by car and obviously a car is a lot faster than a bike. Despite this issue, I kept pushing forward over the next hour with DoorDash delivery after DoorDash delivery after DoorDash delivery. Did you already DoorDash? Yeah. Perfect. Well, uh, go ahead and grab that. Okay, thank you so much. Have a good day. You too. Bye. Tips remain low for obvious reasons. I just finished the second DoorDash delivery of the day and we got another $0 tip. The customer did message me thank you though, but I'd rather get some money. It wasn't until about two hours into this challenge when I encountered my first major issue. All right guys, so I'm in a little bit of a predicament with DoorDash right now. I just got a delivery for this Panera Bread and I don't know where I'm supposed to deliver it to. It said to call the customer. I tried calling her like four times. <laughs> And now I don't know where to deliver the food, so I'm still holding on to it since I gotta save time. Whoever's house it is right there, it's gonna be their lucky day. Even though I just delivered that food to the wrong house, I'm glad it's out of my hands now. Just like that, I got back on the road with another delivery from Cadoba, but it wasn't long until I had another issue. My electric bike is officially dead and I'm pedaling up the hill. It's time for a new one soon, seriously, oh man. Because of this issue, I decided to stop back at my apartment to take a quick water break, then grab another fully charged electric bike. All I have left is 13 minutes left in this break before I gotta get back on the road. I'm honestly gonna take full advantage of this break. I'm gonna drink up with some water, and then we're gonna get back on the road, and hopefully I don't need to take another break until like 5.30 or six o'clock. When I hit the road again on my bike, order volume was relatively low, so it took me a while between each delivery to find another one that wouldn't make me drive super far. Nonetheless, within about an hour, order volume picked up massively and I was non-stop delivering Chipotle, Panera Bread, and Noodles and & Company to customers. One thing I absolutely hate about delivering for DoorDash is delivering to apartment complexes. For example, with the last order I did, I had to deliver to this huge apartment complex and I was stuck in an elevator with some really annoying girls. This kid broke out into a long preaching session. Session in my class. And I had to listen to them talk for 10 floors as it stopped at 
each and every single floor. Another thing I didn't enjoy doing for DoorDash is shopping. This is where you go to a store like CVS and get paid to buy whatever items a customer wants from that store. The reason I didn't really enjoy doing this is since I don't go grocery shopping very often, items take forever to find. It is currently 5.43 p.m. We are now six hours into this DoorDash challenge. And as you can probably tell, I pulled up back to my apartment because the only thing I've consumed today is water, a can of Red Bull, and some cinnamon toast crunch. So I'm trying to eat something. Since I knew it was gonna take this break, I went to pause my DoorDash app, and guys, I have some very sad news. DoorDash hit me with a notification saying, you've been logged out because you paused your dash for more than 35 minutes. I guess it goes by 35 minutes in total and not 35 minutes at a time. So unfortunately, we technically failed this challenge. Uh, I'm honestly so mad we ended up failing this challenge, but at the end of the day, the money's still going to go to a good cause and I'm gonna keep on doing DoorDash deliveries. So far, we're up to $63.32 in DoorDash income. And hopefully once we go for another five and a half hours after I take this break, we'll get up to like 120 bucks. As I got back to work doing DoorDash, I started cranking out orders at the fastest rate yet. And within a couple hours, the sun set turning the sky to darkness, and this is where the true struggle began. It is currently almost 8 p.m. at night, and as you guys can see, it is pretty much completely dark outside. The city keeps it lit pretty well. But guys, we're on hour eight of this challenge. We still have four hours left to go. Since getting off that last break, we've made another $33. Hopefully we can make another 30 more in the next couple hours. This next Next order is where I encountered the biggest issue of the night. Someone ordered Chipotle from the well-known location I had been to many times that day, but they asked me to deliver it to an address I absolutely couldn't find. Hey Adam, I'm he I'm with your DoorDash order. I literally cannot find one, two, four. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to explain to you. It turns out the house was hidden behind another one, but for some reason at the time, Google Maps wasn't pulling that up, so I walked around lost for literally 45 minutes. This made the customer very unhappy. Hey man, I'm right by the huge house. Like, I'm walking down here. Okay, you're not, dude, you're not even here. Like, dude, I'm literally here. Did it say 124 on the house? After this conversation, the same frat boy idiot kept calling and texting me until I finally answered and chewed him out. Bro. I will literally pay you the money back right now. I do not give a fuck, okay? I will pay you the money back. You get the food. I'm leaving it at the at the house. What's your PayPal? Literally just text me. The nine hours and 25 miles of delivering DoorDash on an electric bike was finally getting to me. On the bright side, though, I was able to find the customer after communicating with them, and we ended up making up. I'm coming. I'm coming. I found it. I think I, I, I think. Know. I'm sorry. Sorry for spamming you. Yeah, I future reference that's the house i was all the way, i was over there okay and dude let me let me send you the money for the food because to be honest i'm doing this for like a challenge like, dude i'm i'm so sorry no no you're fine okay <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you so much. I'm sorry, dude. Yeah, Have a good day. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm literally the worst DoorDash driver in history. I spent an entire hour trying to deliver one order. The dude was cussing me out on the phone. I got mad, so I started cussing back at him. In the end, we made up. I delivered the food. We're all good, and I made $6 for that entire hour of effort. The last two hours of this DoorDash challenge finished off slowly but surely as I continuously got orders from nearby restaurants. The only issue I can say I faced as it got later is stores were getting closer to closing and when I came late to pick up orders due to me being on a bike some employees weren't very happy I have a DoorDash pickup for Airy Mon what? No, we close at nine. Oh, well, yeah. I just I just received the order. Yeah, I know it's not you, but the door that I should tell them because sometimes we close them we close at nine, so sometimes we are gone by then. At the end of the day, I pushed through and continued to do my best in this challenge all the way up until 10:30 p.m. when my phone died midway through an order. Right now, I'm in a little bit of a predicament. I still have the DoorDash delivery, and the reason I'm not moving on my bike is because my phone died, the portable charger died, so. Uh, uh, I can't find directions to the customer's house. The only possible solution to this issue I can think of is I need to go to the nearest gas station, buy some sort of wall outlet for my phone charger, plug my phone in at the gas station,
ignition so it turns back on. Definitely not the most ideal situation. This is going to be my last order of the night, so I'll probably talk to you guys in the morning. Good morning everyone. It is currently the next day after that brutal DoorDash challenge and I have to say I'm proud of myself for actually completing it successfully. On the surface, it may seem easy to do DoorDash, but trust me guys, doing it on a bike especially makes things 10 times harder. In the end though, I ended up earning a grand total of $137.66 in 12 hours doing DoorDash on my bike before expenses, of course. In terms of costs, I spent $1.50 on water from a gas station and I also rent those electric bikes on a monthly basis and the costs work out to about 67 cents per day. Finally, the rest of what I ate or drank yesterday was free since I got it from my apartment and I also didn't ever pay for that guy's Chipotle since he didn't want me to. The total profit for this challenge after all of the things I just mentioned is $135.49 so I'm gonna go ahead and order DoorDash on my phone right now and tip $15.49 on the app plus 120 bucks cash. I don't always give away the money I make for my challenges since I definitely work hard for it but I wanna encourage these DoorDash drivers to keep hustling and making that money and it's also good content. Future Will here guys, I ended up getting my DoorDash order, but I wanna warn you that the DoorDash driver came and I was kinda shocked that he was there, so I didn't start recording until right when I handed him the money, so let's roll that clip right now. Oh, here you go, here's a tip for the order. So basically, I did a challenge where I uh, do DoorDash for 12 hours straight on a bike, so enjoy that. <laughs> really? Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome, have a good day. You too, I appreciate the food. At the end of the day, making money is all about helping other people. I'd much rather help a bunch of people in my life than buy some sort of Lamborghini. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please be sure to drop a like if you did and peace out.